Hello students, in this video, uh, we'll discuss about uh, that, uh, what is goodwill and what is the accounting treatment of goodwill. So first of all, uh, goodwill is uh, an intangible item. And normally we say that goodwill is an intangible asset, normally. But goodwill is basically can be uh, classified as uh, it might be purchase goodwill and it might be internally generated goodwill or you can say that self created goodwill so how how you can identify whether you have goodwill or not it's just because of the reputation positive reputation you have built over a period of time due to your business, due to your products, relationships, and that is a kind of internally generated goodwill. But if you purchase an entity, if you acquire a business, then you might able to get the goodwill of that business. So in this way, we can say that there are two types of goodwill. One is the purchase goodwill, which results as a result of a merger and acquisition. And what another is internally generated goodwill, which is self created goodwill. Now, as we know that we have to account for uh, all the business transactions. So uh, the question is whether we are allowed to recognize goodwill or not. Now, let's discuss it in detail. Now, as far as the internally generated goodwill is concerned, the accounting standards did not allow the company to recognize internally generated goodwill and if you are incurring any expenditure creating something which is beneficial for your organization in terms of reputation then still you cannot capitalize those expense as goodwill so whenever any amount which is related to internally generated goodwill you cannot capitalize you have to charge it in profit and loss account because if you are allowed to recognize internally generated goodwill, then the problem is that the value will be subjective and there is no criteria to measure the value of internally generated goodwill. So in simple words, internally generated goodwill, there is no recognition. But as far as purchase goodwill is concerned, the purchase goodwill can be recognized in the financial statement. You can recognize it. Now, as a result of acquisition, when you acquire an entity, you pay something against the net assets. So as a result, goodwill can be classified into two types. The purchase goodwill can be classified into two types. One is called the positive goodwill. And the other one is called the negative goodwill which is also known as bargain purchase. Now, when you pay excess amount over and above the net asset of the acquired entity, then this excess amount is termed as positive goodwill. And if you pay some amount which is less than the net assets of an acquired entity, then this difference is called negative goodwill. So negative goodwill arises due to some problems, anticipated problems, anticipation of losses and positive goodwill arises. You pay extra amount due to some positivity, some positive elements in the acquired entity. Now, if you are paying in excess of the net assets, then what is the accounting treatment of that positive goodwill? So accounting treatment is that you have to capitalize it as intangible asset. So positive goodwill is to be capitalized as intangible asset in the financial statement, in the balance sheet as a non-current asset. But as far as the negative goodwill is concerned, 
if you are paying something against the net assets for example the net assets of the acquired entity is 800 million and the amount that you are paying is 750 million so the benefit that you are getting from this deal this benefit is termed as negative goodwill so what is the accounting treatment then so the standard says that the negative goodwill is to be recognized as income immediately this benefit is your income and you have to recognize it immediately in profit and loss count now if you have recognized a positive goodwill as an intangible asset then this positive goodwill or intangible asset is subject to some reject reduction it is obvious that your goodwill might be reduced reduction might be due to amortization because intangible asset is subject to amortization or reduction due to impairment loss now the standard says that as goodwill is having an indefinite useful life so it cannot be amortized so you cannot amortize the capitalized goodwill so there is no systematic reduction of the capitalized goodwill or the purchase goodwill but as far as impairment loss is concerned yes it is possible that your goodwill might be reduced due to some impairment losses due to some damage or due to some event external or anything that affect the value of your goodwill and if if it is so then you have to calculate or measure it as per IAS 36 that is impairment loss and usually the treatment of impairment loss the common treatment of impairment loss is that it is to be charged as an expense in profit and loss account but sometimes it happens that impairment loss might be adjusted against revaluation surplus sometimes it happens in is 36 but in case of goodwill impairment impairment is always charged in profit and loss account 